Hey, so we have already covered a very long way and we have known about who's a data scientist, what exactly machine learning in the overview section, then we jumped into what exactly is data and why do we need to learn data. Let's jump into what exactly is machine learning and let's know a bit of more of its application. So machine learning. Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence. It gives devices the ability to learn from the experiences and improve their self without doing any coding. So your machine, your robot will be able to learn from its old previous actions. So let's say uh, your robot is a kid. A kid tries to write A like this first of all, then he will try to write like this, then might be like this. Then he might write this and at the end, he might write a perfect A. So that's how the human learns. So you say that this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is right, this is right. From this, your robot is going to learn how to write A. So machine learning is how you can teach your computer to learn from their experiences and improve their self without doing any coding. For example, when you shop from any website, it shows related search like people who brought also view this. So search engine optimization and let's leave about optimization. Let's just talk about how the search engine works. You must have seen when you're buying in Flipkart or Amazon, if you're trying to look some shoes on Facebook. So you're trying to look into Facebook. So. So let's say in Facebook, you have a shoes. So let's say it's of Puma. The same Puma shoes will be shown in Amazon. So that's from your data. The machine is trying to understand that you are looking for Puma shoes. So you might uh, like uh, to buy this from Amazon. So whenever you try to open out Amazon, it will just show you that so these are the Puma shoes and also similar shoes which are of that range of that look that's right so that's all based on some machine learning algorithms called the recommendation systems so what is machine learning the field of study that gives computers that ability to learn without being explicitly programmed so we will start with the understanding the importance of machine learning so you have already looked into machine learning as a subset of artificial intelligence. It's the study from where making machines more human-like in their behavior and decisions by giving them the ability to learn and develop their own programs. This is done with minimum human intervention. So your machines are learning without our help. No explicitly programming. The learning process is automated and improved based on the experience of the machines throughout the process. Good quality data is fed to the machines. So let's say we have a machine. Data is fed to it and it learns. Data, you feed the data, it learns from its mistake, it learns from what he has done correct. So in this, there will be sometimes he does correct, sometimes he does it wrong. So he will learn that, okay, this is correct, so this is how I should behave. If this is wrong, so this is something I shouldn't be doing now. So we pass out data and our model learns from it. Good quality data is fed to the machine with different algorithms. So we have a bunch of algorithms. We have algorithms over here. Okay, we are going to discuss about the life cycle in our next video, but just to give a look into this. So here's how it's done. Now, the help of machine learning businesses can automate routine tasks. It also helps in automating and quickly create models for data analysis. Various industries depend on vast quantities of data to optimize the operation and make intelligent decisions. Machine learning helps in creating models that can process and analyze large amount of complex data to deliver accurate results. I know that a lot of theory has been just feed into. You just need to know that machine learning is making your machines learn. That's it. Now, these are the applications of machine learning. Now, you might get a view of what, how, what all things we can do. But as I've told you, this course is more of a practical approach rather than a theoretical approach. So we are going to look into some of the real life examples of how machine learning is used in our day-to-day -day life. So we have a spam filter. So how does any antivirus, how does anything 
just define out which email so you have an email so let's say you have an email received from a person you have two mails so both are received both are offer letters of sub company offer letter okay both are offer letters from some company and this is mail one this is mail two and you have to know that which is and spam and which is the accurate one so there might be hackers who have just given out that there might be some hacker that are bad people who might have uploaded some virus in this or maybe this is some kind of spam where every time it is just coming 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 and there might be some wrong words everything so mail number one is a spam and mail number two is not a spam so you need the spams one to just delete it out so what we have done is we pass out all our mails into an algorithm and then the algorithm decides that if this is the algorithm it decides if it is a spam or it is not in spam okay that's one of the example then we have self-driving cars tesla is doing something that you all might have amazed elon musk is i guess one of the richest person right now as of 2021 but yeah you don't never know when uh, someone else might go up so self-driving cars were built on the algorithm of neural networks so here is a quite a view of neural network now if you don't understand it's completely okay we are going to solve this much later in our course we are going to learn about neural networks also but self-driving cars are built on machine learning then we have face recognition system so in some colleges and some offices you must have seen that people previously were using thumbprints to say that if this human belongs to this company or not but currently what they are doing is they have upgraded their system and put out a face recognition they are putting out student people in some place a camera is in front of them so there's one spot so here's a human and here's a here's the camera so i'm not a good so this camera will scan the face of the human and tell if he's allowed to go or he isn't allowed to go so that's one of the application of face recognition which is built again using machine learning so these are some of the applications of machine learning in the healthcare sector we have medical treatment health records disease prediction you can predict someone is having uh a cancer that is if he's having actually a cancer or not from its emi photos emr photos and all of these so these all are possible so tries to discovering and manufacturing medical imaging diseases identification all of these are possible just by machine learning now these were only some of the applications let's look into one more application that is finding the potential customer of your company so you have a bank database so what does the credit card company does most of the credit card companies so all the people who are having credit cards they want to see that uh, or people who belong to some bank they see out from the data that uh, which people might be a very loyal member of the credit card or the bank and they want to buy the credit card or may not want to buy it so that will be how to get their potential customers so that's where machine learning come into play so we pass on the data of an employer so let's say there's a man Name Paul. Paul is Paul's data. Paul's data is passed into the system, and then the system will say if he is okay uh, to approach for credit card or he is he shouldn't be approached for a credit card. So these are some of the applications. There are numerous applications that machine learning does provide. Let's cover more of them when we start implementing the algorithms and let's build out some of the project like the spam builder all of these we are going to build by ourselves so let's start building them up but before that again we have some things that you should be know knowing so in our next video we are going to look into a machine learning life cycle okay what are the different steps in a machine learning project and then we are going to start with the next part. After that, we are going to start with the machine learning algorithms and start building out 
our foundation so we need a bit of prerequisites as i told you we need to know about uh, data pre-processing some of the metrics that you should be knowing so we are going to discuss all of them first and then jump into the algorithm so that your foundation is clear and then you can build out and building out of your base so let's meet up in our next video